Welcome to Fluid Ray. In this tutorial we'll build on the previous tutorial, scatter complex vegetation in Fluid Ray, and show you how to use the hair patch tool to generate procedural hair and grass. Let's start by selecting the surface where we want to add grass. We've created a specific camera to conveniently work on grass parameters. We are going to tweak several parameters and we need to see the results immediately. So we switch to, albedo, render mode with control plus two keys, command plus two on Mac. Let's start generating the grass with hair patch tool. We need a much larger hair count. Let's make them longer. Increase length fuzziness. And make the start radius smaller. Let's decrease a little gravity parameter. Now we can increase the hair count in order to completely fill all the selected surface. We can now configure a more suitable material. Let's simply add a texture to base color. Texture coordinates are relative to the whole patch. So, in this case, we need to decrease their size to have a better result. Let's switch back to normal render mode with Ctrl plus 1 keys, Command plus 1 on Mac. This way of generating grass can be very effective on not too large surfaces. We needed to set hair count to 1 million for this surface. And we would need a much bigger quantity for larger surfaces, consuming too much memory. We can combine hair patch and scatter tools to avoid this problem. We are going to generate small circular grass patches. By distributing procedural grass over a circle. Let's use hair patch tool as we just did. This time we'll need a much smaller hair count. We set different base color. We want to save this patch to use as asset library. Before doing it, we prefer to change its name to a more significant one. To do that, we'll open the outliner. and Alt plus click, Option plus click on Mac, to select the asset. We click on its name on the outliner to rename it.
The grass patch is ready to be saved to user's asset library. As you can see, the grass patch is now available on our user library. Let's delete the current patch with Dell key. We want to generate another grass patch with just a different seed. In this way we'll have a variant of the, the previous patch. We can the name of the patch before saving it to assets library. Let's save the patch. We now have both the variants in our library and they can be scattered on any surface. Let's go back to our project and select the surfaces where we want to have the patches scattered. We switch to albedo render mode in order to have more interactivity. The patches we've just added to user's assets library can now be selected from the scatter tool. They need to be oriented along positive normal. We add some bias along z-axis in order to make them touch the ground. Please note that this step may not be necessary. Let's now add some randomness to their scale and rotation. We'll now add the second patch as well. We'll use the same parameters. Fluid Ray will randomly choose among these two patches when scattering. The advantage of this technique is that we can cover much larger surfaces without worrying about memory. Let's now select all the grass material. Just hold down shift key and click on some grass. We can use a texture to improve its look.
Hair patch tool can be used also to create realistic rugs. Let's switch to albedo render mode. This time we'll use a round hair type. Let's tweak a little the parameters. We need a large hair count in order to properly cover the carpet. Let's assign a material to the hair patch we just generated. This is the final result. Thanks for watching.